okay, this is how to get onto Google Classroom and how to get onto Edulastic, which is one of the sites we've been trying to post assignments from. So first you need to open your web browser. Uh, you can use Safari or Chrome or whatever you use. Um, best would be Chrome. So I'm gonna open Chrome. And when I look over in the top right here, I can see that I am signed in, right? But I'm not a kid, so I need to change the account to the kid's account. So I'm gonna click on the picture and I'm gonna add another account. Now, I have already chosen Noah. So I'm gonna use him as an example. So I click on Noah here and uh, uh, normally it would say, enter your username. So instead of clicking on something, you would enter the kid's name. You would type in uh, noah.ramos at pvcsd.org. Or if your kid's name is Jeffrey Winkler, you would write jeffrey.winkler at pvcsd.org. Then the password is the word tiger and your child's uh, month and day of their birthday, two digits each. So I'm gonna put in Noah's password, which is tiger, and then his month and day of birthday. Okay, now I can see when I look up here that Noah is logged in. So now I'm gonna to go to the little waffle or the nine squares or whatever you wanna call it. And I'm gonna to go to Classroom. When I click on Google Classroom, I go to my teacher's class and I go up top here. I have stream, classwork, or people. And I click on classwork and I say, oh, look, my teacher posted something for me. It's called Sue Passage. And I know it's for today because it has a date. So I click on it and there's a little link here. I click on the link and the link takes me to Edulastic. Now, it should take you to a sign-in page like this. And at that point, you are going to just do the same thing. Sign in with Google, okay? And I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm going to log in as Noah. So it wants to access all this. Yes, I scroll down, I say allow. And now I'm signed in, I can read the passage and I can answer the questions and I can click on next. And if for some reason you don't see that, when, when you are brought to Edge Elastic, uh, let's save and exit, if for some reason you don't down here, there's different things. There's like a little picture of a person or there's this thing, sign out. Now, if I wasn't signed in as Noah, this would still be the thing I would click on. I would sign in. So, and it would bring me to that page where it said sign in with Google. So once I'm signed in as my kid, as myself, then I'm signed in and then I can do the assignments that are posted in Google Classroom. So you have to log in to Google Classroom, and then when it goes to Edge Elastic, you have to log in to Edge Elastic as well, using the same Google criteria. I hope this is helpful.